Hi guys, it's Annie. I am so sorry I have not made a video in such a long time. I really needed a break from YouTube for just a little bit. Just uh, I just kind of needed to just think about a lot of stuff, but I'm all good now, and I want to start off fresh with my Sunday video. So yeah, and I'm again, I'm really sorry. I will be doing my videos every uh, Sunday and Tuesday from now on. Um, but yeah, so today I wanted to do a DIY for you guys because I haven't done a DIY in a long time. But yeah, so my DIY is going to be how to make a One Direction bookmark. And yeah, so the materials you're going to need are scissors, a piece of paper. I ran out of copy paper like today and I, so I couldn't use copy paper so I'm just using a ma an old magazine page that I ripped out. Well, you, uh, you can use copy paper, any paper you want, because it's going to be covered up by One Direction pictures. And just some random One Direction pictures that you can find. And masking, or packaging tape. And regular, like, scotch tape. But, yeah, so first thing you want to do is you want to cut off uh, a strip of paper and I'm just going to use this to measure it because I want this to be at least this big. Um, but yeah, so you just want to cut off a strip of paper. But yeah, so I'm going to make mine just a little bit smaller. But yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to get pictures uh, of one direction that will fit on here. So I found this one and it was pretty big but um, I cut it down. I cut the paper off the exact size as this so it'll fit. And then get other pictures too. So I have these two of Harry. And then once you laid them out you just want to get your scotch tape and you want to take a piece and you want to roll it up into the little ball. And you want to take your pictures and just tape them down for now so they don't fall or not fall but like come off but yeah so you just want to keep doing that with every picture and I'm only going to do, be doing the one sided one just for the sake of this video I'm only going to do one side of this and not the not double sided a bookmark but yeah so if you want to do a double sided you have to do the same exact thing Okay, so once they're taped down, you want to take your uh, packaging tape and find the end of it, if I can. Okay, found the end of it. And you want to take a piece that's like as big as uh, your um, bookmark. Sorry, I forgot what it was called. And you want to cut it off. And you want to lay it down, like, right there. And you just want to seal the pictures like that. So you want to continue doing that until your picture is all sealed. Yeah, so I think I only need two pieces. And you want to just, and if you have any excess right here, you can just tape it down onto the other side. And if you have any excess tape, like I do right here, you can't really see it, you can just easily cut that off so it's not hanging off, it gets stuck to my scissors. But yeah, so that is how you make a One Direction bookmark. There's many other ways you can make one, but I like this way, preferably better because it's like a little collage but I didn't do double sided like I said I only did one side and I did make two others right here here's one that's double sided and here's one that isn't it's just black and white pictures um but yes yeah, so that's how you make a one direction bookmark and I will can I will go back to my um Sunday and Tuesday videos from now on like I said I need a little break from YouTube but I'm good now and, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Come, rate, subscribe, and, yeah, bye.